Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm going to discuss a remarkable grave good from Korea's ancient past. It is called the Gold Crown of Silla and is held in the National Museum of Korea. To learn more about this stunning piece, then keep on watching. The Silla Kingdom was one of three kingdoms in Korea during the 5th and 6th century. It was known as the Gold Kingdom by other realms in Asia. This beautiful crown dates from this period and was discovered in the tomb listed on the screen. I don't speak Korean and don't want to butcher it because there are no pronunciation guides online. This tomb was actually a double tomb aligned on a north-south axis. The crown was found in the northernmost tomb along with a golden girdle that was labeled as a piece that belonged to a woman. This had led archaeologists to believe that this was a burial place for a queen or high-ranked noblewoman. The delicate construction and elaborate jade decorations seem to indicate that it was made for the burial and not for daily or ceremonial use. At this point in history, the dominant religion in Korea was shamanism. Although this is a broad term that can be applied to a variety of practices, the Korean version was highly in touch with nature. That can be clearly seen in this crown. The gold is beaten into delicate branches, representing the sacred tree that connected both heaven and earth. The jade decorations represent fruit. This was a symbol of fertility and abundance. Finally, the material would have hit the light and shone brightly, symbolizing the brightness of heaven. The gold crown of Scylla is a beautiful piece of remarkable craftsmanship. Although we don't know who created or who owned it, we can tell that it is an important piece because of its symbolism. Not only did it represent the heavens, it also proclaimed the status of the owner.